Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about burnout. Now, I didn't have an idea for another video. I was trying to think of an idea for another video and I just couldn't do it. And then it hit me. Well, obviously I'm burnt out of ideas for videos. So I thought, that's great. That's what I'll do a video on, burnout. So yeah, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how you can beat burnout. Now, if you don't know what burnout is, basically it's when you're doing a lot of things. You may be doing about 10 different things all on the go. You're trying to juggle them all. You're trying to do them all effectively. You're trying to do as much as you possibly can for your business, for even maybe family or things like that, and you're just getting burnt out because of it. You're literally, your energy is depleted, your mental positivity is depleted, you don't want to particularly do anything else towards your business or towards your family, you just need to rest. That's what burnout is, it's when you just completely wipe yourself out on all fronts. So yeah, how can you beat burnout? Well, the first thing you need to do, kind of ironically, is actually burn yourself out. So what you need to do is you need to get to the point of burnout for yourself, where you don't want to do anything else. You've, you've thrown everything you have into whatever you're doing for however long it is it takes for you to burn out, and then you burn out. And the reason you need to do this is because you need to realise your limits. You need to know what you're capable of before you burn out or, or how much it takes to get you to that burnout point. And then from that, what you can do is you can start to work smart and you can start to, in conjunction with knowing your limits, you can start to set up processes and you can start to do the maximum amount you can do knowing your limits without burning out. So. For example, I'll, do, I'll, I'll put it in a bit more simple terms because I know that was a little bit confusing. Um, so, for example, on this channel, I try to do seven videos a week. Um, it was December of 2016, I did Vlogmas, and uh, by the end of it, I didn't want to do YouTube you know, for a few weeks. And that's exactly what I did. In January of 2017, I believe it was, I didn't do YouTube for probably two or three weeks and that is very unlike me. I didn't do one video, didn't post one video and that was because I was burnt out. I had done so many videos in December of that, that year that I, I just couldn't do any more. So because I know that, because I know that, you know, three weeks of doing seven videos, you know, seven videos a week or one video a day is my kind of burnout point for YouTube specifically. I know that, okay, maybe I can't do seven videos a week, but I can keep up and sustain for quite a while three or four videos a week. So it's a, when you burn out, you start to realise, hang on, well, I can't quite do that, or I would find it very hard to sustain that, but I can do it in this way and sustain this way for a very long time. So... Yeah, working smart comes into it, so setting up processes, whether it's for your packaging, whether it's for your listing, setting up different processes that allow you to push yourself to the limit, but not go over that limit and then need to take a week's holiday or two weeks holiday. And that is how you can sustain um, work over a long period of time, so over months and years rather than over days and weeks. So yeah, I'm not saying like don't go on holiday or anything like that, recharge your batteries, go on holiday, but you don't ever need to get to that point of burnout. You can, only the first time when you're learning to know your limits, you need to hit burnout. After that, you don't need to burn out because you shouldn't be burning out because that is inefficient, that is inefficient. You want to be knowing your limits, you want to be setting up processes by those limits and then you can sustain work over a very, very long period of time. So I think the last point I wanted to mention, and I've mentioned this in many videos, is another way to beat burnout is to sell what you're interested in. On eBay, on Amazon, wherever it is, on Etsy, make, sell, create, whatever it is you're interested in. And then you will be able to just do it and do it and do it and do it. 
and you won't burn out the same. Now, of course, you can still burn out doing things you love. You can overextend yourself. But when you're selling what you're interested in, when you're selling what you love, it's easier to do. And because it's easier to do, you can do it more frequently and you can do it with a better standard, a better quality of whatever you're doing. If you're listing items that you're interested in, you're going to list them to a better standard. You're going to take more care with the photographs and the descriptions because you love those items. You're passionate about those items. Whereas with something else, you might want to just try and get a half decent title or half de decent picture in there because you're not too interested in it and you're not particularly enjoying selling it. So if you, if you sell what you love, if you sell what you're interested in, that's going to help you not burn out as well and beat that burnout. So just a very quick video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, queries or questions or anything that I didn't uh, mention in this video about burnout, please do drop them down below. Just a very quick quick one today. Uh, just wanted to mention a few different points. Um, and yeah, it was quite ironic actually that I had this idea for a video when I was burnt out of ideas for videos. So I thought that was quite funny as well. But I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. See you very soon, guys.